Gary grew up not far from here. Uh, a few people uh, nickname him the old Blackstoner because he's from Blackstone, right between a uh, very rural area between Mabu and Inverness. And he grew up on a farm there. We've, we've always worked in the garden together. Um, but you know, Gary, Gary's been working in the garden for way more years than I have. But you know, the garden has never been fully accessible. And so for a wheelchair user like, user like Gary, um, that can be pretty challenging, and he's always just needed a lot of help. Gary is, is an unbelievable worker. In fact, he, he, uh, he kind of hates vacation time or time off. Uh, one of the first days of vacation, I found Gary, he'd uh, grabbed a mop bucket and gone out to the lane. He was sitting on the ground, picking up rocks off the lane and putting them in the bucket because he just wanted something that felt like work to do. Yeah, we started this project to build a wheelchair accessible garden. And Gary was a big part of building the garden. So I think out of all those pieces of wood that are out there, he probably helped to cut 80% of them. And, uh, but every time, every single time that, that he cut through a piece of wood, once he got all the way through that, there'd be high fives and hoots and hollers and hugs. And, and so, I, I mean, I, I learned a lot about finding joy in work and finding joy in, in simple simple parts of work you know not just the not just the big victories my relationship with Gary is more like a brother when he feels you really respect him and you love him he would return it to you there's no dull moment with Gary when he's in the sunroom he's resting he, he would listen to John Allen Cameron He's the life of the party. He, he loves to start a pillow fight or, or get things going in the living room. But he's also got a, a really gentle side, uh, especially around little kids and animals. I, I have two small kids. Uh, one's five and the other's two. And, and I mean, ever since the day they were born, Gary has been, has just been head over heels with them, you know, in love with them. He's so attentive to the people around him and what they need and what they might need in a little bit, you know? Gary doesn't care of where you're from. Like knowing that we're assistants from different countries, he doesn't care where you're from as long as he feels that you want to be with him. Gary taught me of being, how to have a, a, an open heart and forgiving people. He, he's a teacher of, of how, how to forget about what happened in moving forward. Forget about the past. Think about what is, gonna, what is happening right now. Playing and be fun and, and be present. And listening to new music. John Allen Cameron. It's like 24 hours of John <laughs> Allen Cameron in the house. <laughs>